There's really no doubt that SpaceX is making waves in the spacecraft industry, considering the huge leaps the company continues to make with its test flights. And it seems that the next big move for the company is to create a city of its own for various reasons, the most important of which will be discussed in this video. If you're yet to subscribe to the channel, be sure to do that now so you don't miss out on the videos coming here in the future. Now let's begin. The Texas beachside community of Boca Chica Village that once was home to retirees, folks who enjoy dirt biking, fishing and relaxing near the water, as well as snowbirds, now houses a different category of people alongside what's left of its native inhabitants. That's because it is currently being shared by the staff of SpaceX, the company that wants to take humanity to Mars. Before test launches, residents of the village often receive notices suggesting that they temporarily evacuate the area for safety. And now, during the day, it is just easy to notice the stainless steel spaceship under development, while at night be treated to the sound of excavators ploughing the earth of the busy construction site. It is therefore no longer news that Elon Musk is shaking things up in Texas and is willing to implement his plan of creating a city of Starbase in the Boca Chica area. The SpaceX launch complex is close enough to the village and residents have been previously warned to vacate their homes during some tests. At the barest minimum, occupants are expected to leave their buildings to avoid and minimize the risk of any injury. Since the beginning of flight tests, officials of Cameron County have requested that residents should stand outside their homes during any tests involving loading of propellant fuel. Because of the danger from broken windows by shockwaves or in the event of any test anomaly and explosion, currently they have closed the Boca Chica beach and intermittently closed state highways across the village. CEO Elon Musk mentioned on Twitter about a proposed city in Texas called Starbase, and some other new job descriptions on the company's website pointed at an anticipated state-of-the-art factory which will be used to mass-produce Starlink satellites. Furthermore, the company made a recent move in a prolonged legal battle for a piece of land rich in methane which could later supply fuel for Starship. We can very well understand the reason Elon Musk wants to have a city, like every other tech giant. First and foremost, the SpaceX launch site at Boca Chica could pose a number of serious health threats to those living in the area, including damages to properties. Also, having a city will ensure that work is easily distributed and done, especially when a majority of the workforce lives in the city. Although SpaceX has its headquarters in California, the development of its Mars rocket Starship is primarily carried out in the business-friendly state of Texas. A lot of local and state incentives, including real estates rich for building reusable and orbital rockets, have all contributed to Musk's speedy development timeline. Creating the city of Starbase would cover an area much larger than Boca Chica, but there's no doubt that the city could begin from there. If SpaceX and Elon Musk would go on with their plan of a city in Texas, they must first follow all state incorporation procedures. Taking a look at the site itself, Boca Chica is an unincorporated town with a water system that's from nearby Brownsville. Considerably, Elon Musk has roots deep in the state, and he aims to build the next Tesla factory close to East Austin. In 2019, SpaceX proposed an offer to buy every house in Boca Chica Village for three times the market value, alongside an offer of VIP invitations to future launch events. Many sources claimed that the amounts offered were said to be non-negotiable and homeowners were actually given two weeks for the offer to remain valid. While some Boca Chica property owners were happy with the offer and made plans to accept, including one who was happy to receive three times the price she paid for the property in 2012. Several were not, stating they had carried out substantial improvements to their properties. Others argued that the base valuations used were of the county's tax assessment valuations and not the specifics of each house. So, they concluded that the price could not be a fully appraised valuation of their properties. In the previous year, there was another report that indicated that SpaceX extended the original offer period from two to three weeks just to allow property owners to work with the county appraiser and potentially get their assessed valuations adjusted based on the improvements they had made beyond what the previous appraiser valued. A lot of residents that went on to accept the purchase offers have moved away from their homes, yet a small number of house owners remain. It should also interest you that two limited liability companies created by SpaceX, called Dogleg Park and Lone Star Mineral Development, have been racking up dozens of properties in Boca Chica surrounding the company's Starship plant. Within a few miles of Boca Chica, Lone Star got an oil and gas lease from a company called Sanchez Oil and Gas Corporation to revive two long inactive wells known as Lapita Wells. 
and SpaceX intends to use the whales to extract methane, one of the propellants used for its new Raptor engine of the Starship. However, like most SpaceX situations, the issue of the well faces complications as another oil and gas company, Dallas Petroleum Group in South Texas, has claimed ownership to the wells. In a lawsuit against SpaceX's LLCs and Sanchez Oil and Gas, the Petroleum Group demands that the court force Sanchez to put the wells back in Dallas's name. SpaceX's Lone Star further argues that the wells are ripe for a new lease since they have been active for years. In another statement by Lone Star, they filed that DPG was not really planning to operate the Lapita wells and that the lawsuit was a plan to overturn Lone Star's lease of the properties to extract money from SpaceX. In SpaceX's defense, the re-entry into these inactive wells will restore their production and be used in connection to their rocket facility operations. Lone Star has also argued that SpaceX and the LLC possess a unique ability to utilize the natural gas and several economic incentives. Having a star base in the area will help SpaceX get a foothold in Boca Chica and further aid their future operations. So, what do you think? Is the Starbase a good idea? Is it a smart move for SpaceX to offer to claim the whole area? Let's hear your opinions and other contributions in the comments section.